welcome back to another auto wave video today we've got this saab 93 in for a spare key on this vehicle it's a bit more involved we have to take the sim module out from behind the steering wheel to allow us to code the key so first thing we're going to do is i'm just going to put the original key in so i can just turn the steering wheel i need to release the airbag first so i'm going to turn the steering wheel on the back of the steering wheel there's two slots what you need to do is insert a screwdriver or a flat pick or something like that push the spring downwards and it will pop the airbag off on that side so we do it one side then the other side so i'm going to put my screwdriver in the back i can try and feel the spring right so i've inserted my screwdriver towards the top of the hole i'm going to press down feel the spring press in and I can just pull the airbag off at the top corner so I would do the same again so I rotate the steering wheel find the slot on the back I've got to insert my screwdriver into the slot towards the top so I can find the spring there it is push down I can feel resistance when I push down And that's the steering wheel popped off. So what we'll do now is move the key, we'll disconnect the battery, leave it five minutes for the airbag to discharge, and then we can just remove the airbag. Right, so we've disconnected the battery. Now we're gonna remove the airbag. So we're gonna pull the airbag forward. I'm gonna first disconnect this yellow plug in the middle of the airbag. And then on the back of the airbag, we've got the two connectors. So I'm gonna gently pass the yellow middle sections out which are the locks and then I can just wiggle the plug off I'll place my airbag somewhere safe place it away from the vehicle now I need to disconnect the steering wheel so just to show you first, before we undo the bolt, in the middle of the steering wheel, you can see the two clips that we had to move to take the airbag off. So the clips, so them clips, when you're on the back, you're pushing them over, and it's basically releasing the airbag. So that's what we were doing from the back of the steering wheel, was just pushing the clips over. So, next thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna undo the Allen key in the center of the steering wheel. So, I'll straighten the steering wheel up, ready? I've got an eight mil. Allen key bit. All we're going to do is loosen that bolt. Like so. Just checking for any markings. See if it's aligned. I can't see any, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the steering wheel is in the straight ahead position so when I put it back on, I know I'm putting it in the straight ahead again. So, we'll gently start to wiggle it off, just making sure there's no wires attached. No. So, that's the steering wheel removed now. Our next job is going to be to loosen them three screws to pull the squib off. So we're going to loosen our three screws off. T10 torque screwdriver. And removed and then this should all pull forwards let's just disconnect it from around this edge a bit fiddly it just pulls forward like so just 
lift it forward, there's two clips at the back you have to just gently lift up a little bit. Right. So we've released our clips, just gently pull that forward. And we need to disconnect the wiring off the back. So for this, I might just bring the steering wheel in a bit, give me a bit more room, pull it like that. And then just disconnect the multi plug off the back. So it just slides across and clips. So that's our sim module removed, ready for the next stage. Right, so the next stage we're going to do is we're going to remove the back cover. So this just clips on. So we'll unclip it. So if you notice in the back there, we've got two torque screws. So we need to remove them next. All the while, we're making sure. Our connection is still in the upright position, 12 o'clock. So, let's remove these two screws first. And then we've got to separate the back. So if we gently start to ease it out, there might be another screw under here. There's another screw under the label there, out of the way hidden. So we'll undo that screw there. And then we'll gently pry the back off. This now exposes the circuit board. So we've just got to find that chip now on the back so we can read it.
So we've basically put the car back together, steering wheels on. We've just been around the block to make sure our steering wheels are all straight and everything's working correctly. We've got our two keys. Our remote central locking is working fine. Programmed in straight away. Put the key in the ignition. Key starts the vehicle as well. So that's it, that's how to do a key on a Saab. Thanks for watching, see you next time.